वेलकम टू एडी डिक्टेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स एट फर्स्ट इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी देन प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन बिलो रेडी स्टार्ट With regard to the sugar cane use of the previous crossing season it is sought to be contended that at the time of allotment of cane purchase centers in question by the cane commissioner on 2011 2016 many other sugar mills were also in default of the payment of arrears of previous crossing season and they were either allotted more quantity of sugar cane and their arrears were not curtailed The arrears of cane dues of the sixth respondent for crossing season 2015-16 cannot be made the sole determinative factor in the assignment of cane purchase centers. Each and every guided factor under Rule 22 of Rules of 1954 is equally important in the matter of reservation and assignment of area. The entire dues for the current crossing season 2016-17 are being duly and timely paid by the sixth respondent. Against the total dues of rupees 110 lakhs, rupees 91 lakhs have been paid for the present crossing season 2016-17, and the position of cane price payment as on 17/1/2017 for the current season 2016-17 has been brought on record as Annexure C A-4. So far as the dues for the previous crossing season 2015-16 are concerned it is submitted that the sixth respondent is making all efforts to clear its debts of the previous crossing season and the sixth respondent is required sufficient sugar cane for its survival slash revival and for clearing its past dues para It is submitted that the cane commissioner has to strike the balance between the sugar mills for which he can give weightage to one factor over other keeping in view the prevailing circumstances in the interest of sugar factory as well as sugar cane growers but it does not mean that he is permitted to overlook the other factor rather it can be said that he has to look into the matter of one sugar mill in comparison to other sugar mill considering all the guided factors and apply the same in the prevailing circumstances accordingly the appellate authority considered the distance of the disputed can centers from the petitioner and the sixth respondent the distance of the can purchase centers in question is much closer to the mill of sixth respondent in comparison to the petitioner sugar mill and the appellate authority has rightly considered the same while allotting the can centers in dispute to the sixth respondent the appellate authority has also considered the fact that the can centers in question were reserved centers of the sixth respondent and the same was continuously allotted to the sixth respondent in previous years The sixth respondent had paid the entire dues towards sugarcane price and commission for all years except the last crossing season for the reasons beyond its control. The sixth respondent was constrained to approach the Board of Industrial and Financial Reconstruction within bracket BIFR in the year 2015. The sixth respondent is before the BIFR and is undergoing restructuring. However, the sixth respondent was restrained by the BIFR from alienating or transferring or otherwise creating any third-party rights/slash interest in respect of their immovable assets without permission of the BIFR. Para. Against the order dated 6/6/2016, -6 the sixth respondent had preferred an appeal before the appellate authority for industrial and financial reconstruction. The AAIFR set aside the order dated 6/6/2016 -6 and permitted the sixth respondent from selling its assets. In terms of the said order, the sixth respondent had clearly mentioned the assets to be sold and suggested a scheme relating to the entire sale proceeds from the sale of its assets which were to be deposited for payment of arrears of cane dues for crossing season 2015-16. The AAI effort directed that the entire sale proceeds from the sale of assets would be deposited in a joint account to be operated by the nominee of the district cane officer and the nominee of the sixth respondent. The sale proceeds would be used solely for payment of the dues of the cane growers. The sixth respondent already entered into an agreement to sell the part of the property area 4.9 hectare for a sum of rupees 14 crores, but due to the demonetization, the sale of the property has been delayed. Stop.